everyone. Welcome back. This is Paula with Paula's Imperfect Plans. On my channel, I share my personal budgeting and planning journeys um, as a mid-30s wife, mother, and full-time employed worker living in the Midwest. So today, um, I had made an order. I have some envelopes. No, I don't have envelopes. Um, but I had made an order for some vinyls to go on a couple of my cash envelopes that I knew I wanted to start saving for. <laughs> okay. Well, hang on. There. Okay, I got it. Um, ooh, I'm excited. They're cute. Um, let's open this together. So I am totally blanking on the name of this shop, but I will look it up and put, it's like Freshies. Um, that's just her address. That's not the name of the shop. Okay. So I will put it up, up here on the screen. Um, it's got some decal application um, instructions on the card. And can y'all see what I got? It's stickers, because stickers, and boots. <clears throat> There's also some little freebie. These are beautiful flowers and a beautiful butterfly. I gotta check and see. Looks like they're all plastic. It doesn't look like a sticker, so I'm going to figure out what to do with those, but they're beautiful. All right, and so for these two envelopes, um, I was thinking as I was setting up cash envelopes, because I've not been a cash envelope person. Okay, those are reminders of what else I ordered. <laughs> started making some stuff the other night for myself and I was like I better check and see what I actually ordered off of Etsy first those will be on their way soon but okay so this is um, okay so stickers obviously um, I like to save up money for additional stickers for my planners that kind of thing so I thought I would make an envelope for it um, just like anything else I know that I need to be held accountable in my spending so I'm just going to oh that might actually be crooked Paula Head was in the shot there. I was really trying to get this to separate from the decal here that is stuck on quite nicely, which is good. We want it <clears throat> perfect. So, stickers, and then the next one when I was thinking about things that are big expenses, things that we oftentimes struggle to buy when it's time to buy them, that kind of thing, um, to work toward more of these, um, more cash envelopes and more saving for things instead of putting them on the card and dealing with it afterward. That led me to boots. My husband exclusively, like for work, for dress, pretty much all the time, unless he's going out comfy, um, is in cowboy boots. And let me tell you something, cowboy boots, first of all, are not cheap. Second of all, it doesn't seem to matter how much we spend on them, they don't last long. So not only are they not cheap, we are buying them frequently. And um, and um, I think that was mainly it. 
not cheap and it feels like we are buying them a lot. So I'm adding that to one of my cash envelope sinking funds. And what it, when it is what he wears for work, they just, they just wear out quickly. Like he wears them all the time. <clears throat> for farming, for his full-time job. <clears throat> I mean, unless it's summer, then he probably doesn't switch. But those are beautiful. And once again, I will put the screenshot up here of the shop on the thing. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'll be back with the other sticker. Today I'm bringing you a couple things. This is an, I guess, an unboxing of some cash env envelopes from Cobert Crafts from off of Etsy, <clears throat> which I will try my hardest to remember to link down below. Oh, and Nicole is the, you are the heart of my business. Um, thank you for supporting my small business. They're always so cutely packaged. Oh, I'm already really excited. Okay, so what I did, guys, I got some envelopes. I have Christmas, clothes, emergency, insurance, and reg registration. So what I'm doing here, I decided I wanted to do some stuffing of like prop cash, which I then made myself for my sinking funds that I track electronically. I'm just keeping my bank account. What I did do is I did decide that there was one sinking fund that I was tracking online that I was going to put um, in cash and take out in cash, which is my beach body, my workout program, <clears throat> which I pay for yearly. So that I am, I did get out in cash and I'm going to put that here, um, I think in this one. I have to figure out yet how this is going to work necessarily, but that was just a reminder of which ones I had coming. So I was going to put in some, like I said, some prop cash to, not in the spending binder, I might put them in here to start and then I might change how I do it later, mm, no, I'm going to put them in this, this is kind of my sinking funds here, so I'm going to put in insurance, I'm actually going to put Christmas, Christmas I do electronically, but that is a holiday, so it's going to go in the holiday binder, insurance, clothes, registration, I'm going to put registration, and insurance because those are both bills that will be coming due. This is the emerald color um, vinyl in case anyone was wondering on that shop. And then I'm going to put an emergency at the very back. Currently I have $647. Well actually in registration I have 91. So 50. 70. Ninety and one. I'm pretty sure that's what I have in registration right now. I just did the math today because I just transferred it. Um, I will, you know, change out cash things as that goes. So that is my registration for my insurance. I have two hundred and seventy, which is one, two, fifty, and seventy. That's what I put away each month for our insurance. That is all of our vehicles as well as our homeowner's insurance. <clears throat> Clothes. Oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I don't have anything in clothes right now. An emergency. I have 500, 600, and 40. $60, 
seven. 500, 600, 6, 20, 640, 645, 646, 647. In our emergency fund. That's not true. I added six to that. So it's 653. So five, six, fifty, one, two, three. This is just something honestly fun for me to play with. Um, I'll see how it works. If it ends up being too much or something that I don't like doing, I'll quit doing it. Um, this prop cache that I have in here um, is, I may, I mean, I designed it on Canva. I can link the video that I watched to help teach me how to do it because I, I really kind of struggle in Canva. It doesn't feel super easy to manage for me, but somebody did show me how. And um, and I have 250 put away for Christmas as of today's paycheck and transfer. So that's 250 that goes in the holiday binder for Christmas. Um, so this prop cache, I just, I designed them in Canva. I printed them. I have on my own printer. I only have a black and white printer. So that's why there's nothing super fun. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I laminated them on my laminator that I already had. So I am out absolutely nothing except for probably um, more paper than anything. And I have some of the cheapest printer paper. It's actually driving me nuts because I feel like standard printer paper is a lot thinner than it used to be. Or like the, what they said. Anyway, it just, I'm like, I don't remember it being that thin. So I need to like up the weight of the paper that I buy for my printer. So I just made these for some placeholders for some of the envelopes that I stuff digitally. So that was a really quick video, but I wanted to get those on there and show you today what that was like. Go check out Colbert Crafts if you are interested in any uh, new envelopes in the market, along with any of the other envelopes that I have. They're all great from great shops and uh thanks guys see you next time bye